Another great crop. Oh, yeah. What an awesome fish. <laughs> this week on John Thielen's Destination Fish, we open the ice season on Lake of the Woods on a hot walleye bite. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle, Striker, and LM Fleet Supply. Just getting set up. Man, I'll tell you what, it's rocking out there today. 20 to 30 mile an hour winds today, calling for gusts 40 to 50. But we're sitting in a flag island, hard shack. Not only are we gonna be able to fish, we're gonna catch them. I got a pretty good feeling about and it. And we're comfortable. And we're comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, here we go, coming up. There he is, got him. Oh boy. Do you got a bobber dome? Yeah. Look at this. Double. Nice. This one's a good fish too. I got a pretty good one. I'm gonna get over here on this other side. You got him? Yeah. What do you got? Uh, I don't think he's huge. Look at this. Great fish. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Doubled up. <laughs> I'll go over here and get out of the way. Oh. Look at that, well. It just goes to show you what you can do at Lake of the Woods, right? <laughs> Sauger comes through at the same time that this big eye comes through. The eye smokes the, the quiver spoon I'm bouncing around down there. And Steve gets one on a dead stick right next to it at the same time. Look at that. What an awesome fish. Anywhere you go, man. But this place right here, this is so much fun. Just awesome. Today we are fishing off the edge of a reef in 28 feet of water. The wind is north at 20 to 30 miles per hour and air temps are hovering around negative 10. We are tipping 1 8 and 3 16 ounce Lindy Quiver Spoons and Rattlin Flyer Spoons in bright glow colors with pinched off fathead minnows. I wonder if he's got it good or not. We're gonna find out. He's there. He's got it good. Not bad either. No, he's a good fish. He's. I'm not gonna tell you he's giant, but I'm gonna tell you that he's gonna add to the bucket. I'm gonna go over here to grab him. Put this on I think. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Great fish. Better fish than I used to. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> That nice. is just awesome. Good stuff. Look at that fish, man. <laughs> this has just been awesome. It's just one after another. Look at that. That's a great fish. Anywhere you go, that is a great walleye. Every now and then you go through those stints during the day where your screen's just gonna go blank. The number one thing you can do at that point is try to attract fish. And you'll notice that when the screen goes blank on me, my jigging cadences always change. All of a sudden I get way more aggressive. I snap that tip around. I'm moving that bait down there. I'm really slamming things around. I'm making noise, vibration, moving water. And then when fish come in, a lot of times what I'll do at that point is I'll slow things down. I mean. At that point, those fish might need to have a little bit more opportunity to just look at it. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of times fish come in out of nowhere and just smoke it when you're being really aggressive. But don't be afraid to change your tactic in that jigging cadence when you're not seeing fish and try to grab fish's attention because there might be fish 15 feet that way. But when you're fishing water, especially dirty water, like we're fishing here on Lake of the Woods, you know, a, a coffee colored water, you gotta get their attention with noise and action more so than their sight finding that bait. So you'll notice I, I do a lot of that. I'll bounce it around real, real hard and then when I see fish, I'll slow down and I'll get more subtle. But as soon as that screen's empty, bang that bait around. They're curious by nature. I mean, when it comes down to it, they're gonna come and, come and inspect what's going on. There's one coming up. Yep, got him. Got him. This one's not <laughs> bad. Feel good? Decent one? Yeah, I might want to grab that right. reducer there. Spun in it. Good fish, bud. Look at that one. There we go. Look at that one. Nice fish. 
That's awesome. Man, they're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Stuck them right in that upper wet. <laughs> Here you go. Look at that. Man, that's just awesome. If you are looking for an opportunity to go somewhere where it can be all inclusive like we're doing today, or you can come up here and do it all on your own. Snowmobile, do the whole thing. You can do it any way you want to do it. Jump in a bomber, come out to a heated house. This is a great place to go. Flag Island Resort. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Max just stopped in to check on us and it looks like he's gonna get yeah. wet. <laughs> you go get that fish, buddy. This is one of the things they'll do for you is these guys will check in. Oh yeah. Good one? Oh yeah. yeah. Get after him, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. But yeah, these guys are, they'll come and check in on you throughout the day. And you know, I've always laughed at this. It sometimes seems like when those bombers come in, it, it fires everything up. You've been standing here for yeah. five minutes just shooting the bull and all of a sudden there's a bite. But it, sometimes I think that noise just gets fish moving around. Gonna bite one of those. There he is, got him. You could tell that fish was gonna bite one of those lines. It feels like a... Decent? Yeah, I think he might be the type of fish that makes it to dinner tonight with us. Nice all like nothing, nothing huge, but let me tell you, perfect eater size fish. Yeah. Look at that. That's awesome right there, man. I'll tell you what, you can't beat this, but I wanna, I wanna show you a couple options that, that you wanna bring with you to do this because you know what, catching fish like that, it's really not that complicated, but you do wanna have the right stuff. We're running a dead stick rod. That dead stick rod is, man, that's an important rod. Like I was saying earlier, you, you really wanna have something down there that capitalizes when a bunch of fish come in and they bite the jig rod, you still got something in the water. But number two, you get those fish that aren't always quite as aggressive. Right now I'm using a quiver spoon, but you know what? We're using rattling flyer spoons. Um, you know, eighth ounce size, three sixteenths ounce size. This is the medium one eighth ounce size quiver spoon. And you know, just, just having a little variety of stuff. Difference between the quiver spoon and the rattling flyer spoon is the rattling flyer spoon is a heavier spoon and it's got a rattle in it. So it's gonna make a little bit of noise and it's gonna be a little bit more up and down vertical where this quiver spoon is a more of a lightweight spoon. It's made of a, a much more lightweight material. So when this one goes down, it flutters down. That's a decent fish. Right. Yeah, this is a decent fish. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Look at that one. Let's get him. Nice fish, look at that. Hand me a toothpick right down by you. That over here, this is gonna be an easy one to pop with that. Look at that. Popped it right out of there. But one of the things I'll tell you, I mean, there's a great example of having a dead stick sitting right here, but watching your sonar and seeing what fish are doing. And I'm sitting here watching this hummingbird and what happened is I watched this fish come in and Steve and I were sitting here talking about it. That fish lifted a little bit, then he went back down, lifted, went back down. So all I did is I just picked up my dead stick a little bit, I lifted it up above him, and that got him to move. That was it. I mean, I start believing that when I get a fish to move based upon what I'm doing, I tend to believe I'm gonna get him to bite. There we go. Down again? Yep. Yeah, well, Ooh. this is a little better That's fish. That's good fish, yep. You could tell right when you set the hook, that was a good fish. Yeah, yeah I might need a little nice help on this. Yeah, good walleye. Awesome fish, look at that one. Wow, <laughs> nice fish, buddy. <laughs> when it comes to ice fishing, my personal opinion, this is the best, Lake of the Woods. Because you can fill that pail with eaters, and yet you can catch fish like that one. You got a shot every single day at a, at a 28 inch plus fish here. And you know, whether you get them or not, doesn't matter. There's a lot of bodies of water where you don't have that chance. But man, just catching fish like that all day long. It's an awesome oh, fish, wow. buddy. Look at this. <laughs> so just a second ago, I was talking about a shot at big fish that you always have while you're on Lake of the Woods. And there he is. Look at this. Got him. Look at that walleye. That is just awesome. That's what you can do at Lake of the Woods. And they can put you on this right here at Flight Island. <laughs> I mean, that's what's so cool. They can put you right on this. We're not running around freezing today. We're just out catching fish 
And if you could hear the wind outside right now, it is miserable outside. And yet, we're sitting here in blue jeans catching fish. That's awesome. Man, you can feel it in the air. Leaves are starting to change colors. It's fall. And before you know it, we're going to be pulling walleyes through an ice hole up on Lake of the Woods. And Flag Island Resort's ready for you to come on up. And before we go, I want to tell you just a little bit about Flag Island Resort, what you can expect when you go up there chasing walleyes on the ice. Flag Island Resort in the Northwest Angle is located in the heart of some of the best ice fishing in the world. Flag Island offers everything you need, including comfortable fish houses and warm and fast bomber transportation to and from the hot spots. The guides will take care of everything from making sure you have bait to cleaning your fish at the end of the day while you enjoy great food and drink in the lodge or relax in your cabin. You can drive into Flag Island with your own vehicle, snowmobile up the groom trail or even catch a short flight with Lake Country Air. Flag Island Resort is a premier resort and the ice fishing experience you will find will be second to none. As always, Steve and I had a great time up at Flag Island Resort and I'm already looking forward to this year's trip. Stay right where you're at. We'll be right back with more John Thielen's Destination Fish. John Thielen's Destination Fish has been brought to you by these great sponsors.